Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back today with another video and it's another one from Coachella. If you've been watching my videos over the past week or so, I posted a lot from Coachella yesterday and last week. And we're back with another one. This is someone we've covered last week. We've reacted to Begin and ZTE Bunny and I always butcher that title, but you can go check out that video. Manskin, that's who I'm on about and that's who we're getting into. We're gonna be reacting to more of their songs that they performed at Coachella. Before we get into it guys, subscribe down below. Subscribe, like the video, turn notifications on and we're just gonna dive on in. We've got two songs that we're going to be reacting to. They've covered Britney Spears' Womanizer and we're going to be checking out an unreleased song after it. We're going to start with the Britney cover and we're just going to dive on in. Press play. Okay, we're in the same look as last week. The leather, minimal clothing look. And the energy level is high. The guitar is on point. The production is going so, so heavy. Then the crowd realize how he's singing. So they all start clapping, cheering. What do you want, baby? I love that it sounds like it's gradually building. I love that. He's doing so good at this song. It's a rock twist on such an iconic pop song. And the graspiness in his voice is portraying it so, so well with this rock element production. So, so good. I'm obsessed. Okay, and he's posing, he's strutting. Yes. One thing I will say is you can hear that he's a little bit out of breath, but I'm going to base that on the full set. He's been performing for a while, so he's going to be out of breath. I don't know what this person on the crowd is doing with that noodle. I don't know why they're waving it like that, but they're waving it. This is not the song to be waving a pill noodle to. The attitude is there, the whole atmosphere is just buzzing. And the two young guitars are just vibing out. They're rocking out and they're loving it. I did not expect this guys. We're getting a guitar instrumental solo. And she is loving it, headbanging on her knees, headbanging. Yes. Yes, she's so good at this. And there that pool noodle goes again. That pool noodle. That. <laughs> okay. They slowed it down. He's whispering it. And these high notes. Unexpected, very unexpected. Before this, I needed that switch up. I needed him to break it down a little, slow it down, change his tone a little, and he has. Head banging, whipping that hair, and jumping. The energy he has is on point. Wow, I'm obsessed with that last note. I'm going to take it back and listen to that note again. He does something with his voice and it's so good. He performed that so effortless and we're going to be getting into the next one and my, my energy is so high. Based on that, I hope this one stands to that standard. So guys, this is one that's unreleased. They're performing it live and I'm going to be listening out for lyrics, listening out for production, how they interact with the crowd, just to take it all in because I haven't heard it before. It is just a first listen. It's titled, We're Gonna Dance on Gasoline. 
Okay, we've got a little outfit change. These white trousers. Okay. It's a lot more slowed down than what I'm used to. Okay, where are we heading with this track? And the drum has that constant build. Yes. I'm obsessed with his voice, the build, and now he's growling. That graspy growl that he does, he's doing it well. Oh my god, guys. This chorus, this drum beat, vocals on point, and for the production to stop like that, oh my god. I can't make out what he's saying lyrically. It is graspy. The quality of the video is not the greatest. And his accent, I don't quite know fully the lyrics, but it sounds so good. I love this part when the production builds and then it pauses. And this chorus is so infectious. Production-wise, it's so, so good. Okay. We are having a little instrumental here. And it's so high energy. They're marching back and forth. The lights are blinding and I'm obsessed. Obsessed. The guitar moments, so, so good, and the drums are on point for this track. So that brings it to the end, guys. That brings us to the end of that performance, and I loved it. Both songs were very, very well done. Very well done. One thing I will say about the first, the crowd interaction wasn't all there, but I still enjoyed it. To hear them do a Britney song, iconic. I'm going to rate this 7 out of 10. Marking it down because it did seem very one note. That second song was very repetitive and it was very one note continuously. But I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really did. And if there's anything else from Manskin that you want me to react to, let me know down below. I've covered I Wanna Be Your Slave, Begin, Mamma Mia. I've covered music videos, live performances. They're all on my channel, so go check them out. And while you're checking them out, all my social media are always in the description of every video and my Instagram's on the screen. Follow my Twitter, TikTok and Instagram. I post daily on all three. And don't forget to subscribe, like the video and turn notifications on. And I'll see you in the next video.